Hello everyone, today it's time to do another five days of fashion. I'm showing you everything I wore Monday to Friday to my real life job and these are all winter inspired outfits that are perfect for the weather here on the west coast but you could certainly switch a trench coat for a heavier winter coat if you live on the east coast. So on Monday, I wore my brand new Hugo Boss two-piece suit. This is the most formal piece of suit wear that I own because my office is business casual. I don't need it very often, but when I have a meeting, it's such a lovely experience to wear it because I just feel like a million dollar professional woman in it. It fits perfectly. If you're looking to invest in that one perfect suit, some tips of mine would be to look out for the cut of it. For this one, I really like how modern it is because the pants are quite slim cut. The jacket is just long enough, but not too long or too cropped, which I think can tend to really ruin the professionalism of a suit and then as well I like that it's a wool fabric which doesn't wrinkle too much and is warm enough for the winter but not so warm because it's quite a thin wool when I mean business I wear pearls I feel like they're the perfect classic component of a black suit I paired this particular outfit with my Carolina Herrera button-down and finished it off with my classic Burberry trench because we've been having quite a mild January here in Vancouver so far and that completes my Monday outfit, let's move on during the week to Tuesday. If you've seen my latest fashion haul, then the fact that I was excited to wear this dress will come as no surprise. It comes from the Club Monaco sale. I love wearing new things to work. The heating in my office went down to an all-time low this week, so if anything, it was colder inside than outside. So I paired a lot of my outfits with pashminas, which is something I do anyway every winter, spring, and fall. I love that this dress has a cute little empire waist and then black paneling on the sides, which I find really flattering and lengthening. I also really like that it has so much texture going on because the black panels are smooth but then the middle panels are a really textural tweed that adds that warmth and coziness that I really like in winter style staples. If you're looking for your ideal basic color for your wardrobe during the winter I recently read that gray is the one color that goes with everything because it actually goes with nothing. So there's a tip. I find that it's quite soft on the skin and is really great to pair with metallics as well so my mulberry bag has just a touch of sheen to it it's a really dark slate gray and then I picked up these shoes at um, Nordstrom rack and they are from Tory Burch they're leather but again they have a little bit of shimmer in the actual gray leather and a black tip that is a little bit reminiscent of Chanel to me without being a total knockoff and now we move on to Wednesday so as you know I'm not afraid of a pop of color. I think red is often overlooked. It's such a beautiful color to inject a little life into your wardrobe and I definitely don't leave my red pieces behind after Christmas is over. So this new tote bag is from DVF. I got it while I was in Hawaii. Then I'm wearing an equipment blouse which is really silky and light and easy to wear, very comfy, very well fitted um, and I've had this piece in my wardrobe now for about a year and a half and it's held up really well. My skirt is lace, it's something I picked up from Nordstrom, a good pencil skirt will do you right um, if you're trying to mix and match outfits for the office. And then I'm wearing my commando tights which are my absolute favorite because they are like butter on the legs, um, very comfy and soft and I'm wearing my new Jimmy Choo's for a little bit of an extra inch to my height um, today and I've actually found them to be very comfy and again they're Dorsey style which is my favorite style of shoe because I find it to be extra foot flattering and still comfy and appropriate for all seasons so a great transitional piece. I find a lot of people tend to give up on style when they get to Thursday because it feels so close to the weekend which is why I try and make a little bit of an extra effort and put together something that is fun and comfy and still stylish at the same time. I was extra cold today though, so this is an example of how to wear a blanket scarf to the office. This blanket scarf is from Zara. It's very colorful. It goes with almost everything and it actually tends to live at my desk. Um, so this is a rare example of when I brought it home and am able to show it to you. I'm wearing another dress from Club Monaco which has a gorgeous palm print on it. Again, because it's a light silk, you can so easily convert this from winter into spring. It'll be great with a pair of nude sandals when we get there. But 
for now, I paired it with my same black commando tights, the same Tory Burch metallic heels I showed you before, and of course, my Chanel flap to inject an extra ounce of fabulous into this outfit. I love the way it mixes dark gray tones with a little purple and metallic, and I think the whole thing works because it is fearless, and I encourage you to continue to be that way with your style during the winter because adding a little extra dose of color, whatever color that may be, will really help to bring you through those January blues, or at least that's what I do to get myself through this otherwise dreary month. And you can see the texture of this blanket scarf is amazing. It really adds an extra ounce of interest if you have differing textures in between metallic leather, soft tights, silky dress, and comfy knitted scarf as well. I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about how to style and wear a blanket scarf because it can feel so bulky, and my way is just to wrap it around myself like a warm hug. So TGIF time on Friday, I went for a very different pop of color with a new cashmere sweater that is from DVF. I picked it up in the Bloomingdale sale and I paired it with a pashmina that actually, believe it or not, is a slightly different tone of turquoise, but I don't actually subscribe to the school that everything needs to match perfectly. I think it's fun to play with different tones, so the necklace and scarf are a little bit brighter and my necklace is the House of Harlow um, Stations necklace. It's really pretty. I really like the modern edge that it gives any outfit. Of course, I wore my AG Prima jeans because, in my opinion, and those are the best jeans of all time. They are so soft and comfortable. They have a lot of stretch but still hold their shape. For this time of year, I especially love an oversized cashmere sweater because it just feels so comfy and perfect for the season. Some things that I look for is to make sure it still has interesting texture and good fit, especially throughout the arms, so the whole thing doesn't drown me since I'm only 5'4". This one has really pretty ribbing on the back, so it really fit the bill. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for supporting my channel throughout the entire past year it has grown so much and it's such a pleasure for me to bring you real lifestyle because I feel like there's not enough of that on the internet so here's to taking my channel to the next level in 2016 thank you so much for watching liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one